All right, hey, what's going on, guys? It is Earthmaster, and uh, August 14th, 2017, 8.47 p.m. here. California time, that is. And uh, looking at a couple live seismograph stations over here to the left, and uh, earthquake 3D feature over here to the right, showing the most recent earthquakes from the USGS, 2.5 and above, plus the EMSC Euro Mediterranean model, uh, which is picking up all the earthquake activity around the Mediterranean Sea region uh, Which is quite a swarm going on over there uh, Quite a bit of activity actually and reaching out here towards the west a little with uh, multiple twos there uh, stretching across uh, This region over here. So a little bit of activity going on there have to follow that and monitor that uh, closely and uh, that's why I have the uh, EMSC model data coming into this globe as well. As far as rest activity goes, a little bit of activity uh, around the globe here, south of uh, the Japan region. These look like older earthquakes up here. I know we still got Yellowstone uh, kicking off quite a bit of activity, not as intense as it has been uh, within the within the past week or so, but. Uh, nonetheless, still a little bit of activity ongoing there. 5.0 being the latest earthquake down here in South America region. Uh, near the West Chile Rise is what they call it. I'll take you guys over here and show you this, um, <clears throat> this little region, this little map right here. See that 5.0 at a depth of 10 kilometers uh, within this fracture zone over here. Uh, Gofo. Guelfo? I can't. <laughs> there we go with my weird pronunciation names there. Anyway, within this fracture zone in the uh, Chile Rise area. So you can actually see it down there. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, but very capable of producing some large earthquakes down here in, Ch in the uh, Chile region. Uh, so that's something I'm always watching as well. I do have the um, data on the. Uh, this program right here running uh, which does pick up the Chile region uh, right here I have a station pulled up right here the uh, Las Campanas Astronomical Observatory in Chile but uh, yeah I like I like to keep quite a few stations keyed up here um, and monitored um, all across the globe including Portland Oregon Wichita Mountains Oklahoma and so on but uh, it's a pretty cool thing to watch. Getting back over here to the Yellowstone region here. Um, let me go ahead and pull this up real quick. Here's that earthquake I was talking about a little bit earlier on the live stream here. Uh, I believe that was the 2.7 that was picked up here on this station. Uh, but you can see a lot of activity still ongoing there with these little spikes indicating uh, micro earthquakes, but there's still earthquakes nonetheless. And um, <clears throat> definitely ongoing here for over two months now, uh, this earthquake swarm. So pretty interesting here. This is an overlay of the Yellowstone National Park region with uh, each size seismograph here in a different location. Uh, but it's kind of a cool overview. You can check it out here on this, this thing on.org and uh, slash Yellowstone, Yellowstone and uh, the rest of the address up at the top there. But it's pretty cool to check out. Nothing of you know nothing new to report on the Yellowstone that is just no migration of the earthquakes are staying confined to the northwest corner of the park um, from what I can see here. I normally use YMC Maple Creek Station for uh, for it being the closest station to the to the swarm that is. You know it's pretty sensitive picking up all these little micro micro uh, earthquakes here and uh, of course the bigger ones are being being at 2.7 right there and some smaller ones probably in the 1.5 range. It's 
still continued activity. Also, if you haven't seen this map right here, this is a really cool um, interactive trimmer map. I got it set back to the 1st of August up to the 13th of August, which was uh, yesterday. Or the day before, depending on where you live at. Um, blue indicating older earth, older trimmer movement and the red indicating newer trimmer movement. Uh, and I use the word trimmer meaning uh, these are not your standard earthquakes. These are just um, earth movement. Kind of like one subduction plate going underneath the other. You know, going underneath the continent here like the North American plate right here. Uh, slowly. Now these can last for uh, hours, days, and I guess sometimes weeks. Sometimes weeks. That's, uh, that's a long time for some activity to... go on like that but um, these are different than you know your standard earthquakes you know it's not like a uh, sudden movement this is like a slow type of movement uh, with one plate uh, going underneath the other at a slow pace but check it out um, the website is up here pnsn.org slash trimmer uh, but looking at this map um, still not a whole lot of activity within the central Oregon area. Now it's good to see some movement. Um, you know, it shows that uh, there's some movement going on with the north, with the uh, Cascadia subduction zone here, going underneath the North American plate. But it's still not, uh, you know, it's still not really showing a whole lot of movement within the region here from Seattle south of the Eugene area so it's just telling me right there that it's still um, locked in a certain fashion over here along the uh, well, along the Cascadia subduction zone but Central Oregon that is I'm gonna show you guys a more uh, detailed area of where that's at I say it's just been a long day. Finally got some dinner going, but uh, yeah. So there is there is movement up until about this point right here, uh, down south, south point to right about here, all the way up north, probably uh, probably the south of the Olympia region. Not a whole lot of movement. There is movement uh, down here in Northern California, Southern Oregon region around Medford uh, and up around Seattle, but still this main section over here is locked. And uh, you know, of course when it's locked like that, it's still building pressure when you get one, one portion of the plate moving uh, and the other plate's really not moving there. That's just kind of just winding up like a spring. <clears throat> but either way, uh, keep an eye on that region. And uh, take a look at the California and Nevada earthquake map. Uh, a little bit of, well, small little earthquake over there by the city of San Francisco, or, or Berkeley, that is. 2.2 uh, earthquake. Other than that, there's not a whole lot going on. Looks like a 2.7 up there around... I seen that earlier. I was going to check that out and never got around to it. Uh, interesting location up there, up there around Canada, uh, definitely north of the New York area, 2.7. Actually, a couple people felt it, surprisingly. That's pretty crazy. All right, guys, well, um, I'm going to end this earthquake update video. I will continue with the live stream as we are live streaming right now. Um, if you haven't checked it out, please come by and say hi. And uh, I am looking for possibly one more moderator to help out with the channel. And <clears throat> yeah, so if you are inter interested, uh, send me a private message. I did get a couple messages already from some people. And I uh, haven't wrote back to you guys, but I will. 
and uh, we'll we'll do a little bit of talking here soon and uh, see what uh, see if you could help out with the channel a little bit. All right, guys, have a good night out there, and uh, make sure you come check out the live stream.